Um, I do a lot of the prophetic through the seeing. So um, if you don't know much about that, it's basically, I just feel like the Lord has um, said some words over you guys. And it's very specific. But I want you to know that if it's not the Lord, if it doesn't ring true to you, like Ron said, just flush it. So, um, this gentleman, and the great thing is, I don't know most of you, so, it, with the hat, with the sunglasses. I got a word for him, too. No, I did first. What's Chris? That's Chris. So, I felt like the Lord said, I, I just saw the word thankfulness over you, that you, um, and, and I heard that it's your calling and then I heard the Lord correct me and say no it's your mandate so if you just pray into that and ask the Lord what does that even mean a mandate of thankfulness uh, tag on so Chris I'm going to have you stand up if you don't mind just for a second I, I felt like the Lord showed me your heart and you've got this heart to just pursue him there's this thing inside your heart, but it's like also in this pursuit, I felt like there was, you felt like, I don't know, kind of roadblock kind of things. And if that makes, does that make sense in the pursuit? Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, a lot of us have felt that, right? But here's what I saw this, I saw this picture of this like hook that's maybe like hooked in your back pocket connected to something. I don't even know what it's connected to, but I just saw you take that hook and pull it out. So would you do that? Just a prophetic act of, I'm just pulling the hook out. Yeah. And I felt like that prophetic act is going to actually help you to propel into what God has for you. So I just bless you with that. You sit down. <laughs> Thanks, Chris, for being so brave. Um, so the young lady behind Chris, um, so I saw two mountains over you. Um, I felt like the Lord said, I hope I'm right in this, but I saw that you have a sister. Okay. I saw that you and your sister are mountains of faith. You know, when you just see a mountain and you're like, wow, it's there and it's solid and that's not going anywhere. I felt like the Lord said, that's the type of faith that you and your sister have. It's like, um, I have a twin sister and she's blonde and I've always been brunette. And it's like the blonde and the brunette and they are the solid mountains of faith. So stay right where you're at. Stay solid in your faith. For the people around you to see how solid that faith is. Um, the man with the camera back there, Lance. <laughs> um, I saw you with your hands wide open, and I felt like the Lord said, "You are a giver. You're a giver." In like, you hear Holy Spirit say, "Give," and you give. It doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter what time, it doesn't, it's like you're completely connected to the Holy Spirit and you have your hands wide open. So the Lord says, thank you for being a giver, his giver. Um, okay, Ethan, I know you, but I felt like the Lord said that, um, you are the armor bearer to Jonathan. I felt like the Lord said that you say all the time, with all my heart and soul, I'm with you. So whoever you're serving, which I assume would be Nicholas, thank you for being the armor bearer. And you, and this row right here. So there's a few things, and I'm sorry, I'm keeping, keeping you too long. So I felt like the Lord said that the four of you have this crazy breaker anointing. It's an anointing to break through barriers, 
with people who need healing, body, soul, and spirit. It's not just a healing of like a, a counseling situation. It's like when you walk in the room, you can feel the breaker anointing happen. So I would just say seek that. See what that looks like. So are you two married? Okay. And are you... <laughs> Are you two married? <clears throat> so I felt like the Lord said, this couple, this couple, and are you two married? I assume, yeah. Okay. So I felt like the Lord said that um, you guys are going to be walking into um, a marriage counseling situation. And I felt like it had something to do with what Nick was saying earlier. In this next year, when he's got that building, when you guys have the building that you're looking for, your marriages may not be perfect, but nobody's perfect and no marriage is perfect. But I felt like the Lord said that you have an anointing to be able to to speak into the other people's lives who need that marriage counseling, who need to be encouraged with hope and love and joy, that marriage does, doesn't look like a bondage, but it's a joy to be married. So take that to the Lord. Um, this, yeah, I felt like the Lord's, I, I saw the word traveler over your head. I felt like the Lord said that the traveling is like what you like to do. It's like a passion of yours. And I saw you actually traveling to different mission fields. It's not your typical, let's go to Africa and be a missionary. It's like out of the box traveling. It's out of the box missions that you're able to just go into these places so these footprints they're actually not your footprints they're the Lord's so I would just say be brave and ask the Lord where do you want me to go to next where's my next mission oh gosh um I Mitch okay so I heard the Lord call you Kevin. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Some things that the Lord tells me is so crazy. But so I'm like, Kevin, what is, okay, I looked it up. So one meaning means handsome, <laughs> which I'm like, okay, that bears witness. <laughs> But then the next description means birth. And I feel like the Lord is birthing something new within you. That not only that, but I feel like you are to help in birthing something new in people. That people, you can come alongside them and birth something new. Encourage them. Empower them to walk into a, a new birthing season, something new that they've never gone into before. I have, yeah, and what I saw over you, I saw just this power and authority on your words, and it's like the Lord is holding it back until you birth into who you're supposed to be. And I felt like the Lord said, I want you to meditate on the proverb that says, life and death is in the power of the tongue, and those who love it eat from its fruit. Because I feel like there's a revelation of the power and authority in our words that's going to come to you. And it's like, I just see you being very careful with what you speak because you have a new revelation of how powerful words are. And I think the breakthrough is actually going to come. You're actually going to be preaching at one time, but you're going to be declaring things. Do you feel called to that? You know that? Yeah. And so there's, there's words you're going to speak over people because you've you've actually gotten a hold of the authority of the words 
and you're going to declare a word over a matter and they're going to have breakthrough into their new season because you are going to have such a deep understanding of the power of words and you're going to use it to advance the kingdom. Yes. And a couple more. Um, okay, the baby boy you're holding. Your son, right? I felt like the Lord said that he is a true worshiper, that he actually was created within your womb to worship him. So I would say, you know, just pray into that. If that rings true, start empowering him to do so. Get the guitars out. Get the pianos out. Let him just worship him in the ways that he's created him to do. You watch. Watch and see. Um... I haven't seen you in a while, Greg. So I've, I saw the Lord shave your head. He shaved your beard. He, sh he, he, he shaved your whole head. And I felt like the Lord said, you're coming into a place that you have been for years. It's coming from the inside out. And I felt like the Lord said that he is doing a new thing in you that it's um i saw your your head like pointed down but after the shave i felt like your your head was lifted up your your eyes were looking up the horizon is your future the universe is your future you have a lot to look forward to Lift up your head. Let the Lord shave you, whatever that looks like, it, metaphorically or whatever. But I feel like the Lord, I, I just want you to be able to look out, look forward into something that is so much bigger than you think. It's way bigger than you think. You understand it is deeper than you think it's extremely huge get ready because the Lord is doing something let him take you there and I forgot I Jackson yes of course Jackson I when you were worshiping and playing the guitar I saw these waves of power that's all I could say is just these waves of power it literally came from heaven and it brought some power out into the universe it's um, yeah it's just way deeper than it's not just playing a guitar and singing but it's it's his heart moving through you. So, yeah, thank you. Wow, should I bring her next week? <laughs> well, wow. Thank you, Donna Marie. Bless you guys. I think we have a worship song, and uh, whatever the Lord said to you today, just lift it back to Him and worship and say, Father, speak to my heart about this. So I bless you in Jesus' name. <laughs>